Jacksonville State's home opener, season opener for 2012, just a couple of days away now. We visit with Jacksonville State head coach Julie Carlson. Here it is Wednesday, a couple of days left. Just got through with the practice. How's today's practice, and how has everything gone to this point now? Um, it's going pretty well. You know, I think not having an exhibition game is can be a good thing and a bad thing, but I think the good thing has been is we've been able to really focus on things that we wouldn't have had time to do if we did going into an exhibition game. And so I think it's helped us polish up some real, I guess, nitpicky things within the game, certain situations uh, with set pieces and different types of defensive and offensive scenarios that they may face uh, going into Middle Tennessee State for what we do know. Um, you know, it's a team that we've played, you know, several times over the last few years. We're familiar with them. We know what to expect from them. Um, and it's really educating our newcomers on the intensity level of how intense and physical and dealing with certain adversities um, we're starting to see. So, you know, today's training is, it was a little bit long with a lot of explanation and direction, but, you know, the physicality mm -hmm. is low and, you know, the fitness side of it is low. So really right now we're working on the return around and the recovery, getting them ready for Friday physically. Can you tell that they're ready to, to play? They want to see somebody else in another color jersey? Yeah, I think they're tired of playing each other, which is typical. You know, uh, they're ready to look at something different. Um, but, you know, I think they're as ready as they can be up to this point without having a game. You mentioned the series Middle Tennessee. It's been a good one. And, and the games, uh, the series overall is very close. I think they've won, won more than, than we have in the series. But the games have always been pretty yeah, close. The too. games have always been close. I mean, Aston Roden, the head coach, and myself have always been good friends for a long time. And uh, we respect each other's squads. And, you know, last year we went up their place and took them into overtime and missed – missed a great opportunity to win the whole game in like the last 10 seconds of the match before going into overtime and um, you know he's got a lot of turnover he's got 13 new players so we're going to see a lot of differences in his squad as far as lack of experience and I'm hoping that our experience with having a lot more older players will weigh in favor for us going into this match. Do you expect a lot of your freshmen some of your freshmen to, to see action Friday night? Yeah, you know, we're, our number's down. We do have a few injuries, but the, the freshman majority of them are healthy. Um, and I would expect to see all of them step on the field at the most part. If not, if most of them will probably see the field in the first game. Free admission classes haven't started yet. and It's your only home game now for a couple of mm -hmm. weeks, so I know you're looking for a good crowd. What, first 200 get free soccer balls here on uh, Friday yeah, night? You're going to have some posters too. Yeah, marketing did a good job with um, really promoting that opportunity, and I think, you know, we've really sunk ourselves into the community doing clinics in Etowah and, and Jacksonville and those sort of things. And so hopefully we really can bring the community together to really set a tone for fall sports and hopefully we can open and set even a better tone and get some success going for all for, for all sports for this year going into the going into the year so Jacksonville State coach Julie Carlson good luck Friday Thanks. night here in Middle Tennessee State thank you JSU soccer field seven o'clock remember free admission for all Jacksonville State soccer contest